biggest NFL game on the late afternoon card Sunday at 425 Eastern to Chicago, Washington, but it's not Bears Redskins like 30 some years ago. It's Bears Commanders. They're both fighting for the playoffs. They're both having excellent seasons, but there is a big quarterback injury to talk about. How will that affect this game? I think there is a money-making opportunity and there is some line value. I'll tell you exactly where in just a moment. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV. And I am breaking down the biggest late afternoon matchup this Sunday, October the 27th, week number eight of the NFL season. And we see both the Bears and Commanders in excellent current form. Now, Chicago comes in off their bye week, and they probably didn't need the byes. They started playing some excellent football with rookie quarterback Caleb Williams. After going just one and two straight up the first three, they're a perfect 3 0 straight up ATS, your last three. Bye week took place, but I think that's a good thing, and it will help this offense continue to improve. And their offensive numbers have been much better in recent weeks. We'll talk about that in a moment. But the commander's big injury in news here. Jaden Daniels, of course, goes out last week against Carolina. The offense does not miss a beat, though, with veteran backup Marcus Mariota. Now, he is listed as questionable still as I do this video on Friday heading into the weekend. I do expect Mariota to be the starter, though. They haven't announced the starter uh, we'll find out more with the late afternoon injury report in this weekend. But once again, regardless of the quarterback situation, I think the Commanders will move the ball with success here. And Mariota looked really good last week. He finished the game with a 133 QB rating, two touchdowns, no interceptions, 78% completions. I think Jaden Daniels is the real deal, but looks like uh, offensive coordinator Cliff Kingsbury has really done a good job with this Commanders offense. And I think they will continue to roll regardless of the quarterback. Question, though, for the Commanders is the defense. They have had defensive problems this year, so let's not look at the side. By the way, the public is on the Commanders in this game. They've gone from being a slight favorite to an underdog now, and the money continues to rise. I think it's more injury moves, though, but you could say there's a sharp square divide on Chicago in this game. I will call the Commanders a public dog, but once again, it's it's a borderline public dog because the look-ahead line last week was Washington minus 1.5, and, and now with Jaden Daniels doubtful, uh, they're a two and a half to three point dog. So yes, technically they're a public dog, but I've learned that with injuries and quarterback uncertainty, um, I kind of cross these ones off the public list. By the way, if you want to see all the official public plays for this weekend, check out my Fade the Public NFL Edition video here every weekend. When you click subscribe, you'll hit the bell as well for an instant alert here on the channel. So once again, we're going to stay off the side here, but I do think the over is worth a look in this game as both offenses will have success. And we get a discounted price for sure on this over-under. In fact, the current line as we head into the weekend on this total is right around 43, and that is much lower than it would have been a week ago. In fact, before Daniels went down, the look-ahead line was 47 a week ago. Now it's 43. Um, I think Marcus Mariota, as I mentioned, is more than capable of moving the ball offensively. I think this commander's defense is still suspect. And I also think the Bears are better than their overall numbers indicate for the season. If you look at Chicago offensively, they average just 4.9 yards per play this year against teams that allow 5.7. But that is so misleading because they had that awful first game back in week one against the Texans in which they couldn't move the ball at all. The Titans, rather, couldn't move the ball at all in that game. Had only 148 total yards. And then they also struggled against the Texans the following week. But if you look, they've continued to improve. Caleb Williams, true rookie quarterback, first-round overall pick, has continued to improve as well. They've had over six yards per play in their last two games against Carolina and Jacksonville, and it's not misleading. Look at the difference from Caleb Williams. Those first two games against the Titans and Texans, he was miserable. No touchdowns, two interceptions, a 56 and 51 QB rating. He had an 81 rating against the Colts, and then he really broke out the last three games. 107, 126, 124 QB ratings, seven touchdowns, one interception. And I think the bye week will help this offense even more as they continue to improve. Take a look at over 43 in this game at 425 Eastern. And this game has been flexed into the late card. It was in the middle of the rotation schedule. That's only now how it's been flexed into the late card at 425 Eastern Sunday on CBS. Still, by the way, not my Washington Commanders. Future Commander fan, future Redskin fan, maybe previous Redskin fan, as all of you know. But I, I see Bears, I see Redskins, I see Bears, Commanders, whatever you want to call them. I think back to 1988, January 88, Daryl Green, punt return in the playoffs at Chicago, pulls the rib muscle and runs the last 20 or 30 yards holding his rib. They went on to win Super Bowl 22 that season, I believe, was the same year they won the Super Bowl. Hey, all you young viewers out there, Google Daryl Green, punt return, Chicago playoff. One of the best moments in franchise history when I was a Washington Redskins fan. Hey, Commanders are starting to win me back over. they got to change the name back, though. I just don't feel like this is still the same franchise. But look, this offense is for real. I think regardless of the quarterback situation, uh, they will have some success here. Chicago's a good defensive team. 
Um, but I think the commander's offense is better, and I do think the commanders still have some defensive problems that Chicago can exploit. So take a look at over 43 on Sunday afternoon in this prime time late afternoon matchup. Let me know your thoughts on this game. Are you playing the side, the total player props? What are you looking at? I love when you include the player props because I read the comments and I reply back as well. Uh, one thing the commanders did really well last week um, with a backup quarterback in there was run the ball, of course. 214 rushing yards against Carolina. Keep in mind, the week before against Baltimore, they only had 52 rushing yards. They've had 214 rushing yards or more in three of their other four games, and they've had 214 or more now in um, five, in four of their last six games this season. I do think they'll have some success running the ball, so maybe some running back props are worth a look. Chicago's strength this year has been their pass defense, but their run defense has been average, actually below average, 4.6 allowed against teams that average is 4.5. So I do think commanders will have success on the ground, especially if Mariota is that quarterback. So what player props are you looking at? What else are you looking at in the NFL this weekend? Comment below. I read the comments and I reply back. Let me know also if you're liking these free play videos and I will keep them coming. Thumbs up, like is also greatly appreciated. When you subscribe, click that bell for instant alerts. You never miss the free play videos throughout the week. I do a lot of the weeknight TV games. We catch the Thursday night game again with the over, never in doubt, Vikings-Rams over on Thursday. Now 5-1 and one the last six Thursday night NFL free plays I've given you here on the channel. I will continue to do the weeknight games as long as you're finding them useful. So comment below, thumbs up, like, and don't forget, if you want my official best bets, go to my page this weekend, Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. You'll see the red-hot run we're on, perfect 2-0 start to the NBA season already. And, of course, NBA is number one the last three years, up over 200 units, number one all time in the history of the website in Profit One. And we're also number one this calendar year in baseball, college and pro football profit. It's just been a great 2024, and there's still over two months to go. And right now I do have two all-sports, all-access specials for this weekend. You can get a 30-day and also a one-year and get substantial discounts. Instant $50 discount on the one-month package. That gets it down to about $8 a day. No promo code needed. Or if you're serious about a long-term investment approach, the one-year all-access is the way to go. And with promo code SM365, you get an instant $811 discount. That gets it down to exactly $99 a month, just over $3 a day, just over a dollar a play for every football, basketball, baseball, college, and pro best bet for the next 365 days and nights. Now look, once again, if you want just a 30-day, no promo code needed, instant $50 discount, but if you want that one year and get it down to a dollar a play, use promo code SM365 at checkout for an instant $811 discount. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Hey, get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash SM. Now, you don't have to memorize the promos or special offers. They're listed on my homepage every day, along with the daily free play. I post free plays throughout the week on my page as well. You can also see the last 20 best bets recapped on a rolling daily uh, recap. You can also click on any of them to see the analysis afterwards. Hey, look, when you're ready to step on board, every client gets the exact same plays, whether it's the one month, the one year, even a one day all access. Every client gets the exact same plays. If I'm using a game, my clients get it. It's emailed out to everyone instantly when I release it. Same games I've won consistently with now for 29 straight years as a full-time professional handicapper. You get them as well. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Don't forget also to follow me on social media, at Steve Merrill, two R's, one L, at Steve Merrill on X and Instagram. And stay tuned here to Wager Talk TV for some more great free betting videos coming up next.